I don't know. Yes. Yes. All right. No, don't cancel no. it. Right. I was just kidding. It's February 1st, and I'm Bailey Gardner. And I'm Jacob Latimer. Here with this year's 12th episode of the CTM. So they will go in depth on basketball homecoming, respect, and integrity. Also, coming up is another installment of What's the Rage with Gage and Cage and Isaac Thatcher with a sports update. On top of that, Jacob Latimer and I will tell you everything else you need to know. From breaking headlines to important school announcements, it's time for the CCM. The House Intelligence Committee voted along party lines Monday to publicly release a classified memo written by Republicans alleging FBI abuses in the agency's surveillance, an aggressive move that could feed a GOP push to undercut Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation and ratchets up a battle with the Justice Department. The Noons memo says the FBI abused the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act over its use of the opposition research dossier on Donald Trump and Russia as a part of the case to obtain an FISA warrant for former Trump campaign foreign policy advisor Carter Page. The president now has five days following the vote to decide whether to allow the public to release, to move forward, or to object it. The flu outbreak continues in the U.S. as the child death rate is now up to 37. The flu is widespread in every state except Hawaii, and California is being hit especially hard as 74 people under the age of 65 have died of influenza. This outbreak is the worst in the U.S. since the 2009 swine flu pandemic. Most people with the flu this season are infected with the H3N2 virus, one of the most severe and deadly strains of the seasonal flu. According to the CDC, this outbreak likely still has weeks to go. Tensions between North Korea and South Korea have been increasing for months. However, North Korea decided last week to reopen communications with South Korea. Representatives from the two countries met Tuesday morning for the first time in more than two years. The move seems to mark a small improvement in relations. At the talks, it was decided that North Korea will send a team to the 2018 Winter Olympics. The games begin next month in Pyeongchang, South Korea.
People were worried that North Korea might try to interrupt the games. They could test missiles to make people afraid. Having a North Korean team at the games might make things better. Some experts believe they might not cause trouble if they get to participate. The Trump administration said Monday that it will resume accepting refugees from 11 nations whose applicants it designated high risk and will implement tougher screening procedures to detect potential extremists and criminals. The United States resumed admitting refugees in October, but the White House ordered the DHS to continue tightly restricting applicants from 11 nations it deemed the most risky, saying it needed an additional 90 days to further, act, further assess screening procedures. As Afghanistan mourned another deadly attack Sunday, one that raises questions about the potential for stability in the region. A top American general says U.S. victory in Afghanistan is still a possibility. The Afghan government declared a national day of mourning after an ambulance packed with explosives blew up in a crowded street in the capital of Kabul, killing 103 people. The Taliban claimed responsibility for the Saturday attack, which injured 235 people, including 30 police officers. Kabul police chief Bazir said it comes a week after Milton stormed a Kabul hotel and killed scores in a 12-hour standoff. It's safe to say that the United States' involvement in Afghanistan is still not yet over. Up next, another installment of What's the Rage with Cajun Cage. Salutations, everyone. My name is Gage Johnson, and Gage. Oh, um, dang. Sorry, dude. I was just listening to some Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover, signed on a new label with RCA and is planning on releasing new music soon. This comes after he announced he was retiring his rapper persona late last year. Super Bowl 52 is a Sunday, but Cage and I aren't the least bit interested in the game. We're interested in the performing acts of this year's Super Bowl. These performing acts include Pink singing the National Anthem and Justin Timberlake singing the Pepsi Halftime Show. Rumor has it that Justin's former band NSYNC will reunite for the halftime performance for this year's Super Bowl. Not only are people looking forward to screaming at their screens and singing along at halftime, people also cannot wait for the great commercials that come with the Super Bowl. From what we can see, they will include Danny DeVito covered in melted chocolate and dressed as an M&M in a new Hyundai commercial to surprise America. But of course we can't end our entertainment segment without mentioning the fun movies coming out this month of February, such as Black Panther, The 1570 to Paris, and last but not least, Early Men. This has been What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. Now here's Isaac with sports! Hey County, I'm Isaac. Let's talk some sports. Our boys and girl, boy and girls... Colonel's basketball teams had amazing and exciting wins Friday night. Sparked, by, Sparked the by the play of Carter and Alyssa Dixon, the Lady Colonels won the third meeting of the season between the teams 64-53 at Colonel's Gym. Lester County, who was 17-6, beat Henderson County 59-46 in the final of the Owensboro Inventational Tournament two and a half weeks before their 62-35 regular season win in Dixon. But our girls were total were in total control this time. The Lady Colonels connected on 11 to 3, 11 3 pointers, including three apiece from Dixon and Carter. Dixon scored 21 points to lead the offense and also grabbed a team high nine rebounds. So, Henderson County boys basketball team defeated Webster County 56 55. Corey Stewart hit a three, a game winning three pointer with five seconds on the clock to play as Henderson County escaped with his second district win of the week. Four nights after an overtime victory over Union County, the Colonels, who are 9 and 8, railed from a 15 point deficit to take the 56 55 win over Webster County Friday night in a full house at Colonel's Gym. Henderson County trailed 54 to 50 with 19.4 seconds to go, but two, used two three points from Jadal Fletcher and Stewart the final seconds to pull out the win. Stewart, who drew only the sixth star of the season, held his confident the Colonels would pull out the win, even though they were down 26-11 midway through the second quarter and trailed by four with under 20 seconds left. So officially, we know who will be in Super Bowl 52. The conclusion of the NFL's journey to Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis, Minnesota will be between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. How they got to the big game is the New England Patriots defeated Jacksonville Jaguars after being down by 10 points to win 24-20. The Eagles had a blowout victory against the Minnesota Vikings 38-7. 
so the NFL will have their biggest game on Sunday at 5.30. Let us know on Twitter who's going to win with hashtag Eagles, hashtag Patriots. So speaking of football, WWE CEO Vince McMahon announced on Friday they would bring back the XFL in the year 2020. McMahon pr promised not to mention anything related with WWE and have a fast and fun football league. The teams for this league will be formed in 2019, according to Mr. McMahon. The first version of this infamous football league debuted back in 2001 and was a failure. But I have faith in Vince McMahon has learned from his mistakes and hopefully will make a successful and fun football league. The NBA has a few games tonight. The Toronto Raptors go up against the Washington Wizards. Also, the Houston Rockets will go up against the San Antonio Spurs. The NHL has a few games tonight as well. The Toronto Maple Leafs will go up against the New York Rangers. The Vegas Golden Knights go up against the Winnipeg Jets. Then finally, the Colorado Avalanche will go up against the Edmonton Oilers. Well, that's all I got for sports. Up next, we would like to present two more letters in pride, respect and integrity. Y'all, y'all pride, y'all eat. We go to lunch just to eat. Kicking it hard on this cuddle cast beat. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. Uh, can you add it to it again? I want to send you to the office. Send me to the office. I don't care. It's just a piece of paper. You smell that? I smell it. Disrespect. Mm hmm Dude, dude, Genesis, that was so disrespectful. What are you talking about? The way you were talking to him was not respect. I thought you knew what respect was. Whatever. Respect is not only how you feel, but how others feel as well. And the way you talk to him is so inappropriate. You should treat others how you would want to be treated. Pride is a dish best served respectfully. You're British. How about you say that? And tea you're drinking. I talk over tea. It's too British for my taste. That's why I'm gonna leave it. I will leave you. Keep your eyes open and your aviators peeled. Because I sense a lack of integrity. Hey! What's going on here? Yeah, I'm here, Mumbo Jumbo. Listen, I heard you were making a friend of my friend here, Will. I don't really appreciate it. That's not showing integrity, pal. Yeah? What are you going to do about it, Sling Bob? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Well, Sling Bob's going to tell Mr. Latterman. That's what I'm going to do. Do it. You won't. Oh, really? Hey, yes. Mr. Latterman. Seth here is making fun of Will for being British. Isn't that kind of messed up? No, my wall. Seth, come on this right now. Make me a shima. Now. Let's put my two hands. What? All the evidence points to integrity restored. Thank you for tuning into this justified episode of the CCM. Stay tuned after our sign-off for information on how you can connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. As always, we'll be back next time letting you know what's going on in your world. Have a great day, County. I'm Jacob Latimer. And I'm Bailey Gardner, signing out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you saying? The, the bottom one. The, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Okay. You can just keep it on pause. We can just read it off of that. We need to hire a new teleprompter. <laughs> it's cool. What? <laughs> he's doing. That's amazing. He's doing up next. We would like to present two more letters. He's doing that one. That's right. it. Yeah. <laughs> you, it was still going. We're waiting what? for you to push play. <laughs> up next, we would like to present. <laughs> You can't look at me like that. You can't be like staring down. Okay, do it. Staring down the door. Okay. Freaking creepy. Up next, we would like to present two more letters to the. <laughs> oh. Okay. Pride is a dish best served respectfully. Yeah! <laughs> but of
course, we can't end our entertainment segment without mentioning some movies coming up this month of February, such as Black Panther, The 1517 to Mars, and last but not least, Early Man. You said Mars. (laughs) 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 You said Mars. Mars, You you said Mars. (laughs) (laughs) All right. right. That's great. This has been What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. Now here's Isaac with sports. <laughs> Let's do that over. That's right. I'm the sports. Again, sing it again. Hi. Do you want to take your ride? Yeah, that's King of August. I sense a lack of integrity. Keep your eyes open and your aviator. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You were, I was supposed yeah, to say, like, yeah. and you were saying that. Okay, ready to go. One, two, three. All the evidence points to integrity restored. One more time on camera. Uh, what? No, uh, one, more, one more time, one more time. He did this little dip thing with, before he did it. All right. Okay, uh, okay. All, all the evidence points to. Let's start again. All the evidence three. points right. to. All the evidence points to integrity restored. Okay, this time without stroking your mustache while he's saying it. Okay. I'm stroking my beard. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. One so more time. Stroking. All, right. All the evidence points to integrity restored. All the evidence points to integrity restored. Don't freaking sing at the end, dude. <laughs>